getting ready to begin the day's training session. At just 23, Sefiu Ojeleye is Nigeria's top wheelchair athlete. He's the embodiment of hard work, dedication, and the can-do spirit, even in the face of difficulties. Paralyzed from the waist down at the age of six, Sefiu took to sport in 2006 when he was in primary school, starting off with wheelchair tennis and then basketball and later wheelchair racing. The road has been rough and tough, but he's never looked back. His coach is more than impressed. He doesn't complain whatever the program you bring as a coach. The road generally will not tell you, uh, coach, this is too much or coach, this is too hard for me. He wanted to go extra mile to perform his duty as an athlete and ready to listen to you when you are talking and ready to work when it's time for you to work. Chevy's, though it's not been easy, but I think uh, with uh, a lot of hard work and a lot of pushing, I got to go through all, all, all the things that, that comes my way. Like in tennis, I represent um, junior tennis in 2006. In basketball also, I've also represented Nigeria. But um, I'm here to represent Nigeria in a wheelchair race also, which I'm looking forward to. And maybe in the next year or next two years to represent wheelchair race, because this particularly I wanted to represent Nigeria so that my name could go around the world and so they could see me. It's a dream he's working extra hard to achieve with the Paralympics in 2020 in his sight. I think I prepared enough because uh, I think, you know, for you to qualify for the Olympics, you have to like go some marathons or, or some, maybe some events. So, and I'm working towards all those events, like going to the marathon and going to the event. I believe before the time of the um, 2020 Paralympic, I believe I could make the time and represent Nigeria and participate for Nigeria also. For at least five weekdays, this is where you will find a few training with his colleagues and he may not have conquered the global stage he's been making waves in the country he won the Lagos City Marathon wheelchair race in 2017 and came second in this year's edition it's not easy for, for an athlete to, to just win a race like that you know there are a lot of people like 30, 30 racers so uh, for me to win among all the 30 racers it is a it is a very good uh, idea and a very good um, outing for me. So I feel very good for winning the which, uh, Access Lagos City Marathon last year. His sides are now firmly set on the global stage, and his coach and colleagues believe he's the next big thing in wheelchair sports on the continent. It's not, it's not an easy task for us, so we're just trying our best and pushing out just to, because we know where we are going. So we physically challenge people, we never give up because we know where we are going and I believe by the grace of God we're going to reach there. So government should try and put, put more effort like encouraging us and giving us what, what we need so that we can be in the same, because all those foreign athletes, they don't have anything, they only have equipment and facilities. So if we too can have that, I believe we are going to be in the same level with those foreign athletes. But Sefiu and his team are not letting the unavailability of facilities dampen their spirit. They continue to wheel on their chairs, hoping to strike it big someday. Dejibatno, CGTN, Lagos, Nigeria.